the same old chicken or beef dish, we've got you covered with a delicious duck dish. And here to tell us how it's made is official Mass Appeal chef Greg Manette. Greg, it's always a pleasure having you here. Seth, nice Welcome to see you Welcome back, again. Greg. Hello, Ashley. So nice duck to have you. Confit. Thank you. French? Oui. <laughs> oui, oui. What, uh, what is it? Uh, confit. Well, I can't I'll, uh, speak. I don't know. I'll French. pretend I know. And, uh, yeah. Confit to me means uh, cooked within its own fat. Um, con meaning with. with. And, and fee meaning fat. I, fat. I think yeah, that sounds right. awesome. I'll buy it. It's yeah. good enough. But that's exactly what you're doing, really, exactly. is you're cooking exactly. it, slow cooking it in its own fat. Yep. What's the first step in making duck confit? Well, this one thing I like to talk about is the fact that it does cook within its own fat, but you don't have to. We can. You could use uh, uh, olive oil, um, not extra virgin olive oil, just because it cooks for a long time. We don't want it to. To, uh, we don't want the extra virgin olive oil to kind of overpower the flavor of the duck itself. Um, and what we're doing in the process of cooking it is rendering out most of the fat that lies between the, uh, the breast, mm -hmm. um, or not the breast, but uh, the leg itself, uh, the skin, and in here. There's a lot of fat contained in here. Oh, wow. That's, and especially yeah, on, a, on a duck breast, you'll, you know, it's usually probably about a quarter inch layer of fat. And, uh, and so at the restaurant, what we try to do is you know, we're rendering out the fat from the leg, um, and we we take it out, and so it's, it's flavored with the fat, but it's not. You know, it, it doesn't doesn't taste that heavy. Yeah, it's not. It's like it's it's like you're eating really just luscious, succulent dark meat off of uh, off the leg of uh, of of any fowl, really. So it's incredibly moist, I would yeah, imagine. Yeah, exactly. And with the duck breast, what we do is, you know, we'll marinate that a little bit, and we'll slowly render a lot of the fat off the the breast. It gives it a nice uh, crispy uh, skin. And but half the fat really that was in there originally. So and I see that you season it. We do. Um, in this process to start, it really takes. It's usually overnight, um, eight to eight to twelve hours or so. You don't want to go too long because then the salt tends to penetrate the skin too much. Oh. But we have to use salt because what we're doing is curing it. Uh, it's approximately a tablespoon or two per. Uh, per half pound to a pound of a duck. And so kind you're pretty salt. much covering the top, we so are. it gets all in there. And this one is already, you can see it actually start to, uh, to cure. Uh, what it's doing is salt's drawing out the, the moisture, um, but it's allowing, oh. it's allowing the flavors from the garlic and the herbs and the, the oils and stuff from the spices to go into the flesh. Interesting. That's so, really interesting. I never knew you could do that. Can you use any kind of salt? Uh, I use coarse, uh, coarse culture salt, um, mainly because it's, it's easier to work with. Uh, it's grainier. You know how much you're putting on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you the can really see The finer salt, you can't really see as well. So if I have too much here, I'll just, just push you know, it off rub the sides. it off a little bit. Okay. And then what I have here is the the spice mixture in the recipe is is pretty straightforward. Um, but what I like to do at the, at the restaurant is add. Uh, we use like cinnamon, star anise, a little bit of clove, bay leaves, peppercorns. And garlic, ooh, and uh, so that's a real seasonal mix, there, huh? It is actually. It's seasoning seasonally. Seasoning seasonally. By Seth. Very <laughs> nice. <laughs> I've been on a pun tear lately. Yeah. I can't be stopped. Now, while we're seasoning the the duck, well, that I, well, that's is that par parsley? This and... is. It's a little bit of parsley, thyme, and uh, some shallots. And so oh. what what we would do now is wrap this whole piece in uh, in plastic, and uh, and keep it overnight in the fridge. Um, in the end, you you would unwrap it like this, and uh, and rinse it off, which we'll do in a second before we actually put it, submerge it in the duck fat. Now, Greg, when you rinse it off, does that take all of this marinade and, and things you put on? It does. Oh, but, okay. But what we're gonna do though is we're actually gonna season the fat that we're working with with some of the herbs and uh, and spices that we used in the, in the curing process. So you might okay. lose it, but you'll still get that taste. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So I'm just I'm gonna rinse this off really quick. Sounds okay. good. In the meantime, I'm gonna marvel at this. This is okay. <laughs> marvel. So Santa is just <laughs> is, is at Yankee Candle now. He's, well, he's right? there. Of course he's he is. There. Year, yeah, round. year round. He's a and if it's not snowing guy. out already, it snows every what two to four minutes at the Bavarian Village. Of course, always. Santa is always always there. always there. Always there yeah. in his workshop. So it's a little bit wet, so we might have a little bit of splatter. So okay, I'm going to back up a little bit because we've uh, we've come across that before. <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> we've had a lot of fun experiences here in the Mexico. I'm going to drop kitchen. that in. You know, if it, it the the bubbling right now is because of the water, uh, mm -hmm. the moisture content in it. Uh, normally we would pat it dry uh, and let this simmer really for uh, an hour and a half to maybe two hours until it's it's fork tender just coming off of the bone. Is there a specific temperature the oil is supposed to be at? Exactly, actually there is. It's uh, approximately 190 degrees. Okay. Uh, what that does is it allows the meat to still uh, maintain its uh, integrity without really flaking off or getting stringy. Uh, if you cook it too hot, 
basically you're kind of boiling it in the oil. Uh, same thing if you were to poach, um, you know, a piece of tuna in like olive oil or something like that. Gotcha. If it's too hot, it's just going to ruin the steak. Oh, mm -hmm. so it definitely matters. Definitely. The temperature. And you yep. can just get one of those kitchen thermometers to test the temperature of your right. oil. Right, candy right? thermometer works. Mm -hmm. um, and any meat thermometer too, because you're, we're only looking to go up to 190 degrees. Seriously. And you're not boiling, because that's what 212 is boiling. 220, actually. 220 for, for water. So if we oh, okay. fast forward, and of course an hour and a half, two hours go by. Yeah. After that's been slow cooking in the fat. In the fat. What is and the, the herbs? I did forget to add the, the herbs, some of the herbs. Of course. I got a little bit of garlic. Oh. Uh, you can stud the garlic with uh, some cloves if you want. Oh. Throw a cinnamon stick in there as well. There's bay leaves. And that's really going to get in there flavor wise? It does. It flavors the fat uh, and also it's flavors the meat. It's cooking for a long time. So, How neat yeah. is that? Yep. And now, once it comes out, then it should just fall off the bone. Really? It, it does. And uh, so, what I did is I just prepared this ahead of time. We didn't uh -huh. want to work with a, a fat mm -hmm. duck leg. No. Um, but I, my hands have already touched the, the raw duck. But I'll want, touch the good duck then. I'd love you guys to actually try it. Oh, I would. That. If you don't mind. So, what would you, what could you actually. Um, what mm. could you actually like make with this? With well, this with, stuff? one thing we can do is, is for the holidays, mm. you know, if, if you're going to make this, make a big batch. Because what you want to do is you, mm. you want to. So good. <coughs> Excuse me. I got to be honest with you, Greg. I, I think I can speak for Ashley and I. We're not big duck fans. Yeah. That is really good. That's the really flavor. good. Yeah. Oh my I'm not goodness. kidding. That's good. No, it's, it's really nice. But you could have a lot of it and you could, like you were telling me, you could make it, even put it in your salads. I didn't realize yeah. it. In anything, really. Pasta. No, we do at the restaurant. We'll toss it in a wilted spinach salad. Um, on the menu right now, we have a, a seared duck breast um, with sweet potato uh, steak fries. And we, we kind of make it like a, a poutine, like in uh, in Quebec. Mm -hmm. So it's it's basically it's their version of like cheese fries, but we use uh, gravy, duck gravy that we prepare from the, the duck bones and stuff. Shred the duck confit over the top of it, and then you can you have your steak fries and duck wow, confit. Wow, I never that. tried that before. Well, Greg, this looks like a, this is a great you. recipe, definitely for the holiday season. No, definitely. And it definitely. can be very uh, used in a variety of ways. So thank you, you for me. showing us how to make it. You it's turn so me into tasty. a duck fan. All right, <laughs> duck All right. fan. Thanks, One more. Greg. And every Thursday, you can catch Greg Monet and Chandler's Restaurant right here on Mass Appeal, whipping up a great dish off their menu. You can always get this recipe online by visiting mymassappeal.com later on today. And if you've never dined at Chandler's Restaurant, you are missing out indeed. You've seen some of their menu items on the show, but head to South Deerfield to check them out for yourself. Be sure to like their Facebook page. Just search for Chandler's Restaurant and check out the page for the latest up-to-date information. And Chandler's is located at 25 Greenfield Road in South Deerfield. It's just a short drive. All you have to do is take exit 24 off of I-91 North, and you can give them a call, 413-665-1277, to make your reservation today.